Hi there, everyone. Good afternoon. This is Dr. Gwen with the Dr. Gwen International, Inc., and host of the iTunes show, the Dr. Gwen Podcast Show. Now, I've been uh, uh, gone for a while, as you know, and I did do a live cast last week, I think, and one a month ago. And at that time, I shared with you some medical, cha a medical challenge that I had. You know, as you know, if you've been following my page, you know that I had a stroke, and this happened on August 16th. Now, I'm feeling fine. I feel really, really great today, and every single day is better than the day before. So I really can say I'm really grateful about that. But there were some things that I discovered in the midst of that challenge. I discovered that I may have been insensitive about the way I said certain things and how I expressed myself and how I was feeling to some of you. So here's what I will say about it. First, I like to think that I'm a positive person. I always tend to look for the positive events that happen in any situation. And life happens all the time. I can say I have a very perfect life, but before you say anything about that, I will explain. I can tell you exactly how I can come to the conclusion that my life is perfect, just the way it is and just the way it isn't. So I had this medical situation, as you know, and as I lay there in the hospital, I felt completely at peace, completely relaxed, completely wonderful, just knowing that whatever was going to happen was going to be okay. Because I felt that I was actually following a path in my life that I feel like I was called to do. I was doing what I'm here to do. That's what I felt like. So whatever the outcome was going to be, I was going to be completely fine with it. So came home from the hospital and made a new discovery. Now, I have been a person who has been claustrophobic for as long as I knew myself. I've been claustrophobic. My mom pulls a shirt over my head, and that shirt stays stuck one second too long. I was flailing and screaming and trying to get that thing off of my head. And as an adult, I avoided tight spaces and got stuck in elevators once or twice that completely almost took my breath away. So I avoided scenarios where I knew my claustrophobia would be triggered. But as I came home from the hospital, I was laying there and I started to get some phlegmy feeling in my throat. And I thought, while the night came on, my brain started to work pretty actively. And I started thinking, well, if I were to fall asleep, then that phlegmy stuff may just close off the whole of that. And so I got an attack, that claustrophobic attack, as if I was stifling. And I tell you, that was grueling. In the midst of it, it was grueling. But it didn't end there. The next day, I had this feeling of heaviness that came over me was really dark and I had no idea that life could have gotten so dark. I mean, here I am way past the middle of my life. I'm sorry, this is my phone, so I'm gonna make sure it doesn't do this again. And I had never experienced anything that was so depressing and dark and heavy. But here I am, I'm trapped in the midst of it. And as a coach, a business success coach and a professional coach, I work with my clients to help them to overcome and dissipate these dark energies and to clear them, completely clear them permanently. And while this was going on with me, I realized I couldn't do it. I couldn't clear it because I was having this attack. And so I had to deal with it. I had to pause in that moment and understand that. Some people may literally be having this in their life maybe every day. I can't imagine. Just having been through that just opened up my eyes so wide 
and a whole spectrum of perspective that caused me to look at this situation very differently. So I understand having worked through that, finally I was able to deal with that portion of my brain that was telling me that, you know, if I sleep, it's gonna close off and it was completely illogical. And that was how my subconscious mind was thinking. And my conscious mind was knowing this is completely logical, but there that depths of that subconscious mind which drives almost 99% of everything you and I do, it was taking over. And I had to work through that thought, work through that belief before I was able to use the strategies that I use with my clients to help them to dissipate that. But here's what happened. How did I look at that situation? See, I looked at that situation as something that happened to me that would help me to understand where others are coming from and where others are. That's the way I tend to look at the circumstances that happen in my life. So I give you another example. So I was going up and down the stairs those nights when I wasn't falling asleep. And one of the nights, I was going down into the basement. And my right foot slid on the carpet. And my right foot and my body went forward. And my left foot, which was the one affected by the stroke, stayed behind. Ouch. <laughs> so there I am, my left foot behind me and my right foot and my body down on the stairs. And I thought I had surely ripped this knee out. So I gradually lifted inch by inch my knee around until I was able to bring it forward in front of me. So now I got up very gingerly because I didn't know what had broken, what had torn. So I got up and started to walk. And funny, interestingly, I, I was walking way better now than I was before. And instantly my thought go, oh my gosh, thank God, maybe this happened so that I could get my left foot functioning the right way. See, that's just the way I automatically think when anything happens to me, I just automatically think of what is the good that come out of it? There's got to be a good. It didn't just happen for the sake of happening to cause me pain and suffering because I don't look at the world that way. So my thought went there and I discovered something amazing though. The next day I was in <laughs> excruciating pain. It was painful. And even then, I didn't look and go, oh, why me? Poor me. Why is this happening to me? Why are all these circumstances happening to me? My brain just doesn't allow me to go there. And so why am I telling you this? Because in the past, as I said, I've come on Facebook Live, I've come on my blog, I've come on my uh, iTunes show and I've talked about how wonderful things is, things are, pardon my grammar, how the sun shines brightly, how the flowers are radiant and they're beautiful. And having gone through that dark moment, it struck me then that everyone may not have had that experience and everyone may not be able to readily switch their mind around to bring it to something positive. So I wanted to share with you some tips that are gonna help you that if you happen to be in the circumstance where you're feeling down or dark, that dark cloud, because when you're in it, it feels as though it's never going to end. It feels like nothing is going to make it right. Let me tell you, I now know what that is and I wouldn't want to trade that for anything. But how did I get out of that dark depths, just dark depths? It felt like I 
felt like I was going to die. Felt like life was going to end and that would have been the best way out. That sounds like depression, doesn't it? And so I had to work on my belief. See, I discovered something really great about the brain. And that is your brain, your subconscious mind will generate an experience based on what you are thinking. So even if you are in the depths of darkness or you're feeling despair or panic attack, a phobia or anything that's going on, the first thing that you have to do is stop a little bit, pause a bit and confront the belief. There is an underlying belief that is causing that phobia, that attack, let me tell you, mine was that if I fell asleep, that it, it was going to choke off and I wasn't going to, I was going to struggle and suffocate. And the struggling and the suffocating was the part that freaked me out. I didn't want it. But after I was able to confront that belief and really wrestle in my mind about it, then I was able to immerse myself in the full feeling of that emotion. Like what if when that phobia came on, I just received it instead of panicking and pushing it away and saying, oh my God, you know, I don't want this. This is going to drive me insane. It's going to kill me. I just received it. Let me tell you, it wasn't easy. My heart was racing about a million miles an hour. My throat was stopping up. My breath was feeling like it was going, my body, all of my body functions wanted to let loose <laughs> at the moment, everything. But I stayed in it. I stayed in it and I experienced it. And that released a level of it. Funny, when I did that, then I felt my nostril open up and I could breathe a little freer. And suddenly the paddling heartbeat had quieted and disappeared. But I still had symptoms of some of the, the physical emotions. And so I dealt with another layer of that and I just faced it. I called this surrender for freedom. And I just faced it and gradually disappeared. So my brain now was able to believe some of the things that I was telling it, that I am safe, I am loved, everything is okay. And that quieted me. Now, think about what you may be going through right now. Is it something in your personal life? Or is it something in your business? Do you feel like everything is going the way you need it to go? Do you feel like your business is expanding the way you need it to go? Or do you feel like you're having some drought in your business? You know, I've been there too. And during those times, when I feel like the drought was happening, what I did was I took a step back and I took that as a sign that I needed to release. And I need to focus on me, to work on me, to develop me, to develop my spirituality, to develop all that I felt like I was about so that I could achieve that aim that I wanted to achieve. So if you are experiencing something that you feel is not happy right now. Can you think of a way to turn that around so that you can look for something good and share with your brain, your subconscious mind, your consciousness, something good that's going to happen? See, your brain is also wonderfully made. And when you change that scenario and you flip that switch, what happens is your body gets on board and you start believing it in terms of your vital functions, your bodily functions. And so your heart rate may, may slow down a little bit and you may feel a little lighter and a little less stressed. Believe me, I understand how it can be. And that's what I use to actually turn the events in my life into a positive scenario. And as I said, I know it's not always easy to make that change. And sometimes it requires that you confront that truth 
that you have told yourself about the scenario. And if you have told yourself something about what's happening right now and you truly believe that is true, confront it. Find out, really, is that really true? Is it really the way, could there be another perspective to looking at that scenario? Flip that switch in your mind and watch things transform for you so that you can have perfect days. So that brings me now to the end of this cat live cast. And what I want to say is what I said at the beginning, you know, for the insensitivity that I displayed in feeling like everybody is having a wonderful day every day. Hey, you know what? That I understand now that that's not necessarily the truth. And I also want to say this, that now you can take that scenario, that day that is going horribly, or that thing that's why me, or everything happens to me that's bad. Just look for the good in every single one of those scenarios. And you will begin to transform those experiences that you're having. Because here's the truth. When you look at negative situations and you focus on it, you tend to get more of that. And when you look at, look for the positive, then you tend to get more of that because what you focus on is what you attract. So try that and also try that in your business, try it in your personal life. And I would love to hear the way you feel about it. Now, I did also mention that I say I do some clearings like energy clearings for my clients, mainly my coaching clients. But if you feel that there is a trapped emotion or something that you just can't get past that may be stopping you, some fear or some self-limiting beliefs, then I invite you to reach out to me and send me an email at info at the drgwen.com so we can talk and we can work to see how we can get that cleared for you so that you can be free to continue to live your life in the most positive manner and the most uplifting manner as you see fit. So my friends, hopefully you found this live cast very inspirational and very empowering. And I invite you to send me an email, let me know how you enjoyed this or a message on Facebook or comment below this video. And share this video if you see that there's anyone in your life who may be needing this message today. This is Dr. Gwen, empowering lives to live purposefully and passionately and transforming your business profits, skyrocketing your business profits from the inside out.